The eight-hour transatlantic flight to Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota took them over the icy landscape of Greenland, where Mr. Rackley jumped at the chance to deliver the first bit of learning. We're over Greenland, just on the edge of Greenland. You can watch your bag, watch your bag, mate. So you've got a lovely, um, lovely view of a glacier right below you. One of the reasons, you know, the trip's already started, you can see things on the plane. See, they're just, they're just like, they're just like normal rivers. for about 20 hours, something like that. Good. How are you guys dealing with all the Americanness around you at the moment? That's funny. We said garbage. We love that. We said garbage. That's how that's what saying. That's saying that you're amazed. You're amazed. If they don't find, see any moose in Yellowstone, they found a giant one at the airport. So it's 11.48 at night here. What's it back in England? I don't know, like stupid o'clock in the morning. 6.48. Is that actually? Oh my god, I 10 to 7 in the morning. I would be up by now. Oh. This is our minivan. Not big enough for everybody. It's really awesome. Hello. Hi. Very fast. It's our first day. It's our first day in Montana, and um, we arrived really late last night, so we didn't actually see any of the scenery. So it was quite a shock to wake up and see all of the mountains around us. Which is quite
now we're eating American breakfast, which is lots of, which basically consists of having a load of boxes of cereal and then eating bread and juice and stuff. Yeah. And there's like loads of animals around, like we already seen quite a few birds, and then we saw that there was some antlers that were in the um, porch, yeah, I think we found there's a load of insects around out there, but they're not as interesting because I don't know what they are yet. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about it? I'm like, oh, wait, that's fine. That's it, you just sit there, isn't it? What do you think of the view then? It's very mountainous. Very mountainy. <laughs> it's definitely nothing like I've ever seen. First day in Montana, which is in America, for those of you who don't know where Montana exciting. is. And it's right on the left, like about as far left as you can go. Really. Well, in America. Yeah, in America. Um, anyway, today we went on a hike and we had to put the stickers of the groups we were in on these cards. Ours is the big M. And we're stuck in the middle because we like to be different. And the M stands for Montana State University, which is the university where we are. And we're visiting that tomorrow, which is, yeah. will be cool. Um, and on the, on the back of all of the cars they have information, which, which is really cool. And there will be a picture that's coming up about any time now of the information. Now. I'm not, I'm doing Well, I'm back to the boy it's a canoe in the tree. Oh, this is nice. Who's got our whistle? Yeah. It's on the thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, go right up to it, it doesn't feel like zero. You found one. Mission incomplete. <laughs> you can't scratch it. We've got strong. Hello. 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 I spy. They probably already found like five. Someone. Hello, guys. Hello. Which one are you looking for? The ditch. So Hi. are we. We're 141 feet away from it, but it's taking us everywhere. Slowly and sensitive. And this, this people, is what all of everywhere looks like. A dry, a dry load of trees. Aside from that way, where it's a dry load. Except from that way, where there's just a dry load of growing hay and mountains, which have turned blue. They're busy looking up birds. They're oh, looking hey. up birds because one of them thinks they spotted a bald eagle. This is Eleanor. No. Yeah. She's got a cool hat on. The current thoughts is, is either Cooper's hawk, red-tailed hawk, or Swainson's hawk. That. It's an eagle. No, it's a hawk. Mm -hmm. It's not actually a hawk. It's either a hawk or a buzzard. So it's not one of those. Field guide to the birds of, of North America. It was a Swainson's hawk. Okay. okay. And what do, what do they look like? Oh. They Eagles. So they look like Can eagles. Can you show us a picture? Yeah. Yeah, do you have one in your book and I'll film it? Yeah. Okay, Oops. you see these here? Mm -hmm. Those ones. I don't, it look like that one there, in flight. That one there. Mm-hmm. And they're can... cool, aren't they? That's what they look like. Too. I have been falling in love with this area and I want to live here. Hetty wants to that, live here. That, that's my house up there. Yeah, I'm going to room share with you. <laughs> well, I like house share. Okay.
see that the valley is glacial and uh, yeah there's like little pointy mountains which are frosted up. No, there are some little things that are frosted up because when the plates move and then it's actually the mountains are actually sea rock that's been moved in on the tectonic.